Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to talk about how relief rings on VAV diffusers work. So it's been a while since I discussed the T3SQ VAV diffuser, so let me start with a quick VAV diffuser refresher. A VAV diffuser is a diffuser that has a damper. It kind of looks like this, so that's your Omni diffuser, and then there's a damper inside, and I'm just going to draw kind of a generic mechanism to control the damper. The diffuser has a temperature sensor or a thermostat, depending on if it's thermal or digital. So we're just going to throw a thermostat over here and we'll say it's just wired to this mechanism. Just like a VAV box, the diffuser looks at the room temperature and the set point and decides whether it needs to give more or less air to make the space comfortable. So let's say this diffuser is in cooling mode and the space temperature is 72 degrees and the set point is 75 degrees. So the damper will move up and down to control the temperature. In this case, it'll close off a little bit to get the 72 degree temperature to a 75 degree set point. So if you have a constant volume system that provides the same amount of airflow to all the diffusers at the same time, and let's say you have 10 diffusers total on this system, and this is one diffuser that starts to close, it might not be a big deal. The air will be split up amongst the other nine diffusers. But if all those diffusers are VAV diffusers, and now they're providing more airflow to the spaces, they'll start closing off too. So now we're looking at these closing off, and then these getting too cold and closing off. Now you have a lot of air trying to go through these diffusers that are closing off. And now the diffusers will start getting loud, and you have a system issue. So you have to provide pressure relief at this point. You can do that by putting in pressure control with a bypass box or a pressure relief damper. I mentioned these in my original VAV diffuser podcast. But another easy way to provide pressure relief is to put in a relief ring on the diffuser. So a relief ring looks something like this. It'll mount to the neck of the diffuser and it is oversized by two inches. If you look at it from a top view, it's a little easier to see. So you've got the pressure relief ring here in blue where the inside ring connects to the duct so that is your relief ring connected to your ductwork the outside ring in the image is your VAV diffuser and this space over here is open so you're ducted to a smaller inlet size than the diffuser is so what happens as your damper closes off and your airflow is coming in and going out into the space here, you'll get some back pressure and it'll push air out the relief ring up here through the open areas in this image to the side. So your excess air and pressure will go out here. So there are more energy efficient ways to relieve pressure in a system, but this is a really quick, easy way if you only have a few diffusers installed that you need to address. So that's how VAV diffuser relief rings work. And before I finish, I want to thank my friends at JK Mechanical for suggesting this topic this week. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for taking the time out with us.